Hi, this is Noel from creationeffects.com and this is the video tutorial for Creation VHS Effects. If you're not familiar, Creation VHS Effects is a huge collection of effects for making your footage look and sound like an old VHS tape in Adobe After Effects. And this has been the highest selling template on creationeffects.com and it's used all over the place from major Hollywood films to TV shows and music videos. And so I thought it had earned itself an update slash upgrade. So I went through and rebuilt all of it and added new effects and more presets and made it faster. And now it's better than ever. Uh, let me really quickly go over what the template includes and then I'll dive into the tutorial. So inside you'll find over 100 customizable effects and they're all easy to preview and easy to apply to your footage so that you can build your own unique VHS look. And they're also all totally customizable using slider controls. And included in those effects are lots of TV static and VCR tracking stock footage clips, as well as a bunch of audio effects and transition effects. And best of all, the template has 11 presets, which are finished VHS looks ranging from subtle to very heavily damaged. And with the presets, you can just drop in your footage and export it and you can customize them with the controls. And something that you'll find very handy is each preset also has a single control which controls the overall intensity of the VHS look. So you turn it down to get a more subtle look or turn it way up and you get something that's totally unwatchable. All right, so let's take a look at this. When you download the zip file from the website, unzip it and you'll see a project file inside. Open that up and you'll see these instructions for getting started. There will be instructions layers like this one in almost every comp, so you can just unhide the layer and read it if you're not sure what to do. Um, our first and most important step is importing our footage and placing it in this comp here named Your Footage. So I'll go to File and Import and grab some footage. And I'll just drag that file into the comp. And what that'll do is let you preview all of the effects in the template with your footage. I'll go over how to build your own VHS look first, and then I'll go over the presets. So let's take a look at this other comp, Main Comp Add Your Effects here. Inside there you'll see your footage is at the bottom here, and above that we have this control layer. And these control layers are in some comps, and they're one of the ways that you can customize effects. If you select it and then go to the Effect Controls panel, you'll see this one has a Global Intensity Control which uh, controls the strength of the entire VHS look. And you'll need this panel open, so if you don't see it, go to Window and Effect Controls. And then also make sure that the animation presets are not showing, so go to this little icon and then make sure that Show Animation Presets is not checked. Okay, we need to add some effects to this comp, so I'll open this Video Effects folder and I'll open the Video Effects Preview comp. Inside you'll see a bunch of yellow layers and a few blue layers. Uh, the yellow layers are copy and paste effects and you can just simply copy and paste them into your main comp. To see what they do, just unhide it and preview it. And these are all based on actual artifacts from damaged VHS tapes that I came across while researching for this project. So it's, it's all very authentic looking and uh, all of these can be customized. So you just select a layer, and then in the Effect Controls panel, you've got a bunch of controls for adjusting the effect. And when you find ones that you like, you just select them and copy them. And go back to your main comp and paste them. Yellow layers will only affect the layers that are below them, so they need to stay above your footage layer. I like to keep my control layer at the top, so I'll drag these down here. And going back to the control layer, you can see if I toggle the global on-off switch, I can quickly turn on or off all of the effects. And if I adjust the global intensity control, I can turn it up or turn down the strength of all the effects together. And you can think of this global intensity control as a percentage. So you can have the individual effects set at different intensities using their the local controls on each layer, and then the global control will affect them all proportionally. Another handy feature of many of these effects, and uh, you'll see these throughout the template, and that's these auto on-off blinking controls. 
And these controls allow you to make effects turn on and off randomly. And there's a uh, minimum on time, minimum off time, maximum on time, and maximum off time. And uh, the values are in seconds, so you can use low decimal numbers on these and the effect will quickly but randomly flicker on and off. Also note that all of these layers have marker notes here and when you double click the marker you can read about the effect and get some helpful notes or instructions. Let's go back to the video effects preview comp and we went over the copy and paste effects which are the yellow layers. Now let's look at the blue layers which are pre-comp effects. Uh, these effects were too complex to fit on a single adjustment layer so they have their own separate comp or pre-comp so you can still preview them the same way in here and then you can find its folder in the project panel here under pre-comp effects. So the, uh, the main comp inside the folder has the effect as well as your footage inside it. Uh, so you can see if I open it, you'll see your footage and also a control layer. And the control layer is how you customize all the pre-comp effects. And when you're done customizing, you can just drag this layer into your main comp and you'll need to put it above the original footage that you had in there and then below all of the yellow layers. Now what if you want to combine multiple pre-comp effects? You can certainly do that but you can't just drag them all into your main comp one on top of the other because these are all self-contained effects with your footage inside of them so you would only be able to see the pre-comp that's on top. So instead go back to the pre-comp effects folder and let's say we want to combine the bottom warp effect with the color channel offset effect. Inside each folder you'll see a, another folder named pre-comps insert footage here. So what we can do is put the uh, finished bottom warp effect inside the your footage comp of this color channel offset effect. And then the color channel offset comp will now have both effects inside it so you can drag this down to your main comp and I'll delete that uh, other pre-comp effect that I had and so if you wanted, you could put the color channel offset comp into another your footage comp from one of these other effects and just keep combining as many effects as you want. And again, the global intensity control will affect the uh, pre-comp effects the same as it affects the copy and paste effects. It does that through expressions, which means that all of these comps in here have bits of code that reference this control layer in the main comp. And it's important to know that because it means that you can't just drag these effects into any comp that you create or you'll get errors. So you have to use the main comp here to build your VHS effect. And there's some other goodies in here that you might want to add to your main comp and that's the TV and VCR static found in this stock footage folder. I'll open the stock footage previous comp and in here you have all these different types of static that you can overlay over your footage. Just copy and paste the one that you want into your main comp somewhere above your footage layer. And you can turn down the intensity with the controls or make it blink on and off. Again, it's, it's better to copy and paste the stock footage from the preview comp rather than taking the files directly from this clips folder so that you uh, preserve the functionality of the controls and the expressions that are on these layers. So now you know how the different effects can be combined to create a complex and authentic looking VHS look. So let's look at the presets, which are pre-made and ready to export. In the uh, presets folder, again, we have a preview comp, so I'll open that up and you can preview any of the presets with your footage. And you can also see these presets in a video on the webpage for Creation VHS Effects if you would rather quickly see all the presets together. And note that uh, some of these presets have the word subtle in their title, so those are a little less damaged than the other ones. You can find the comps for each preset in this folder. I'll open the first one. And all of this should make more sense to you now. We have our control layer at the top, which you can use to turn down or turn up the intensity of the preset. And you can animate these controls using keyframes if you want. And below that we have our yellow copy and paste layers and then our blue layer which is our final pre-comp effect. I say final because this preset uses multiple combined pre-comp effects and uh, you can see them in this folder here. These are organized in the order that they are applied. Uh, so the first pre-comp is just a your footage comp. 
preset one, pre-comp one. And then that is placed into the color channel offset effect, which is placed into the displacement lines effect, and so on. And then this final bottom warp effect uh, is what's down here in the preset. And then all of these copy and paste effects will be added to this pre-comp effect. Uh, so you can still go in these folders and open the individual pre-comp effects to customize them, and you can customize the individual copy and paste effects as well. Further down at the very bottom, we have a few audio effects. Uh, the audio from your footage with no effects can be found on the pre-comp effect layer or on this your footage layer, which has no effects. And then this preset has a couple stock audio clips, some VHS hum and some skipping white noise. And you can find more audio effects if you open the audio effects folder and stock audio clips and open the audio clips preview comp and you can preview these and then copy and paste any of them into your preset or uh, into your main comp. And then at the very bottom, we have this optional audio track, which is the audio from your footage, but it has a bunch of effects on it to make it sound like it's from a damaged VHS tape. And you can customize those effects in this audio filters folder. Uh, I'll open the audio filters comp and there's a control layer inside with a few different kinds of effects pitch modulation, volume modulation, and EQ. So you can turn any of those on or off with the checkboxes and also customize them with the controls. So we have almost gone over everything. There's just these transition effects, which you may or may not use. Uh, these are kind of like the pre-comp effects. They have their own separate comps and a your footage comp. There are a few steps you have to go through to use these. So let me go over that and then uh, my work will be done here. Open the transitions preview comp, and you can preview any of the uh, transition effects here. Be sure to turn on the video and audio for the layer when you preview. And you can see they each have this marker at the five second mark that says transition. So that's where the cut occurs and where the effect happens. Um, let's look at this color channel offset transition here. I'll find its folder up here. The finished transition will be in this comp, but first I need to open the Your Footage comp for this effect. And this is a short comp, just 10 seconds, with a marker at the five second mark. And you need to put your two clips in here, or your pre-edited footage, and then sync it up so that the cut happens at this exact frame at the marker. I'll just duplicate my footage to show you how it would work. So now the cut is at the five second mark and I can open my main comp and drag this finished transition effect into the main comp. And I'm just gonna delete all these layers we added because we're not doing that anymore. Okay, so we have this little 10 second clip now, uh, but it's not going to be in the right place. So you just have to drag it and sync it up with your existing footage layer. And just like the presets, you can preview those transitions quickly if you go to the web page and find the uh, transitions demo video. Okay, that's all I have to show you. Uh, there's a lot more you can do with all the uh, customization controls, but you're smart and you'll figure those out when you just play with them. So I'm gonna let you go and destroy your footage and I will get to work on the next template. And if you didn't see the other products on the site, there are old film effects and glitch effects and also a really cool art effects template which lets you convert your footage into artwork in just about any artistic medium that you can think of like claymation and graffiti and pencil sketch, oil paint, watercolor, Legos, pen scribbles, halftone prints, and a whole lot more. There are 40 different effects so check that out. Thanks for watching and enjoy the VHS effects.